as our world becomes more intertwined globally by the day, it is imperative that we all realize that what happens in one part of the world affects not only just that country, but it may even have global effects. NAVSKIAT enables us to both teach and learn from one another, and in turn, enhance our enduring partnerships. Graduates not only take what they learn here back home to their countries to help train their own countrymen, but they also leave here having built lifelong friendships, arguably the most important objective of this school. We conduct foreign internal defense through both in-resident training and through mobile training for partner nations around the globe. The security challenges that they are confronted with are ever more complex. Things like terrorism, and narcotics trafficking, and illicit trafficking in human persons. The basic foundation that you need a stable security force to confront them. They want their families to be able to sleep safe at night as well. So I think that's the goal of anyone. Navskiats is the Naval Small Craft Instruction and Technical Training School. Although we specialize in the maritime environment, it's important to note that more than half of our courses currently uh, apply to forces operating in the desert, uh, forces operating in the jungle as they do forces operating on the water. And it's applicable to law enforcement, police, Coast Guard, just as much as it is to our traditional maritime partners. When we bring individuals here to the United States where we have professional instructors, professional training aides, classrooms, and some of the world's best training areas, in addition to learning from us, they'll learn a great deal from each other. We'll do operational training, so not only will the foreign security forces know how to fix their own craft, they're also gonna know how to operate their craft to better defend their countries and fight their fight. We're in an ideal location here at Stennis because the river is literally right in our backyard. We can drop boats and be underway in a matter of minutes. Just a short transit out to the ocean where we have a lot of islands and wetlands in the Louisiana area where we can practice and conduct training. We're working on small boat handling with approaches, tactical movement with boats. As small boat operators, there's lots of standard warden searches where you may need to conduct a you know, search for paperwork, contraband, or other things in their home countries. I've been pretty nice to you this whole time. I think I want you guys off my boat. So, we are doing our job. If you want us out of the boat, it's for your own safety. Yeah, I just want you guys off my boat. Get off my boat! Some of the nations that I've come in contact with are fighting just about the same fight as everyone else. It's the trafficking, whether it be personnel, narcotics, just about anything, it's the security of their, their own nation. Pick up the gun, check that it's clear. This is small arms maintenance. We go over the weapons fundamentals, ammunition fundamentals, disassembly, assembly, inspection, repair, and maintenance of various firearms. This course is geared towards a wide variety of international forces from Coast Guard, police, military, and various roles throughout. We go through special operators and your regular troops. We do get a lot of questions concerning the partner nation's forces weapons, and currently we have a wide variety and we're constantly evolving what weapons we have on inventory so we can accommodate the other country's weapon platforms that they have. For example, when a class comes in here and they operate particularly with the AK-47 rifle, we would go more in depth on that particular weapons platform. 
This is the International Tactical Communications course. In this course, we teach our students the properties and theory behind HF, VHF, and UHF communications. We teach our students frequency prediction along with uh, antenna theory and construction, so that way they can use the best frequency and antenna for the job at hand. The equipment is relevant. If you have certain radios with certain programs on a computer, you can program each radio with a computer, so that way you can use tactical chat, which is where you use the radio to chat with another radio across a computer. The equipment is not universal, but the stuff that is taught in this course is universal to all radios that are out there in the world. Here at NAVSKIATS, I teach the course Technical Welding and Applied Repairs. The part of the course is not only to teach the students about welding or basic hull repairs, but also how to upkeep our boats. All right, so we're going to use polyurethane glue. So you need somebody that knows how to work on them, somebody that knows how to do that preventive maintenance, how to do that corrective maintenance, and then get home in a safe and secure manner. After the initial theory, then we start going into the lab, start tearing the engine apart, taking a big 6V92 Detroit diesel engine and tearing it down piece by piece, system by system. By the end of the course, they know everything about that engine. They are fully qualified technicians. In our effort to combat drugs and other related crimes at sea, if you don't have an outboard motor that is running effectively, you would have problems. So. The maintenance is very important because you got to make sure that your motor is running and good to go at any time. If the engine is not working correctly, the boat's going to be dead on the water. It's not going to go anywhere. Navsky Yachts takes a service member from our partner nations and makes him a better soldier, sailor, airman, makes him more professional in their career and in what they do for their nation. For the IDC it is instructor development course. It makes him a more professional instructor. It shows him how to be professional in front of a crowd so they gain confidence and can relay the information they're trying to put out in a correct manner. Rule of law covers human rights, the Geneva Convention, and more of what the United States has learned over the, the years that we've been in existence. The strategic level course offers just a great opportunity with many nations. The course is designed for medium to senior level leadership. We actually share many threat challenges globally, and the only way we're gonna move forward on addressing security challenges is through collaboration. I think the most important thing the graduates take home with them is a the relationship they built. Secondly, they're able to have rich discussions on symptoms that are causing security concerns in their specific countries. When they leave, they continue these discussions and they're allowed to provide collaboration between border countries and continue any of our other efforts here at Stennis. The FTX field training exercises is the final rite of passage, if you will, for the class. They've learned everything, they've gone through all the dynamic waterborne evolutions they have, and they get to a point where we have a final week, and they are tasked with a specific mission, or a specific set of missions, and they have to accomplish that mission within the parameters that we've laid out for them. And we evaluate them along the way, see how they do. Last man, coming out. I'm one of the first people they see and one of the last people they see here. They get to know me really, really well. You know, soccer is it's the number one sport around the world, so when they get here, that's something they find in common. And that's how they, they build bonds and relationships. They see Nashkiats as a schoolhouse, but when we take them on the field studies program, they see America for what America is. Not just in the military, but also in the civilian community and not everything that we do here is what they see on television. The Student Welcome Program allows the students to see American families, the way they live, the way they work, even develop relationships for a lifetime. During graduation, we also have a guest speaker here from one of our partner nations. I can bear true witness that the knowledge, the skills, and the tools we acquire have enhanced our capability to contribute better to peace and stability in our region. The most rewarding thing when you see the students 
you know, get their diploma and get ready to go back home with not only a piece of Navskiats, but a piece of America. Navskiats is our center of excellence for uh, security force assistance training. It provides a world-class environment for us to partner with our friends around the world and really set a good baseline for a long-term partnership. As we start to transition to a global network of partners, we look to work by, with, and through our partners. There's a world-class environment here. We've got credentialed instructors. We've got an environment where we can really focus on the students and our partnership. It's important because some are you know, technically focused, others have strategic concerns. And the range of activities here at the schoolhouse at NAF Skiots uh, really covers that, that entire uh, effort. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. We choose to go far and we choose to go together.